you remember about a year ago, a bit longer than a year ago, I um, I saw in the news this tragic story that came out in New Zealand about a young 13-year-old who drowned uh, after being knocked unconscious when um, the car he was in um, uh, fell down like a 10-metre bank into a um, river. And um, this story made international news. Uh, because the father was actually forced to choose between saving his wife, who was like um, floundering in the water, or going after his son, um, who was still trapped in the car. Um, it was a really tragic story. The, um, the young kid knew Jesus Christ, so there's no doubt about where he is now. He's been with the Lord about a year now, so he got saved when he was like nine. Um, but. Australia's now got its own story to tell, and um, as all of you know in the news, um, all the flooding that's been going on um, in Queensland, uh, a lot of these towns have actually, uh, I actually drove through a few years ago, like Warwick and um, Ipswich, because um, I, uh, I drove from my city across to Brisbane to visit my cousin. It's like a 4,000 kilometre journey. It's about 2,600 miles or something, very roughly. And uh, all these towns that I drove through, like you can just, I've seen photos, you just see the rooftops. I mean, these whole towns are decimated. And um, this is a really sad story of a, um, of a mother and two of her sons, aged 13 and 10, were trapped on top of a, a car as the floodwaters were rising out of these two rescuers um, went out on a rope and um, I'll give you an indication of how quickly the water was rising. Um, when the rescuers first started out to um, get to them, um, the water was like up to the number plate and um, by the time they got to the car it was already covered the bonnet. It, the water rose like uh, 20 centimetres in like 10 seconds, that's about 9 inches. So uh, this, this water just virtually came out of nowhere. Um, uh, the 13-year-old insisted that the rescuers take uh, his 10-year-old brother first. Now, this 13-year-old actually can't swim and isn't actually actually terrified of water, but he is still insisted that the rescuers take his younger brother first. They took um, his younger brother um, back to safety. They came out to try to get him, but um, the water just rose too quickly and they lost him. So this 13-year-old um, gave up his life for his um, younger brother. A kid who didn't even know how to swim. Hmm. You don't often hear about that kind of sacrificial love um, these days. It's mankind has become so unbelievably selfish his past especially in the past like 10 20 years this kind of love it's a love God has for us you know in Jesus Christ who came and laid down his life for us so that we may live so we may be forgiven of all our sins you don't see that kind of love very often now being 13 years old, not being able to swim, um, seeing the water rise as quickly as he did, that would be terrifying. But he still put his brother first before himself. As Jesus put us first, and the Father's will first, before himself, before the own suffering and death he was going to have. I think that's an amazing thing.